Hello, Brian from Workspace Admins here. Uh, today, we'll take a look at uh, one of the Chrome policies that could be useful uh, to help uh, your users avoid any uh, account confusion. So the policy is called Allow Domains for Apps. So this will take you to the actual Chrome policy. And so it also has a related Google support article, uh, which is related to Blocking SX to consumer accounts. So uh, this can be used to actually block or completely block access to any Gmail account on a uh, managed device if pushed as a device level policy. So I'll just go back to, uh, to this page here. So as you can see, I have a mix of policies that apply to other the machine or current user. And for my machine level policies, I have platform source or platform as a source or cloud as a source. So platform, um, platform policies are uh, being pushed from uh, MDM that I'm using, and cloud policies are being pushed from uh, Google Admin Console. And in this case, it's being pushed uh, from uh, my main uh, work account. And we have also have some current user policies that's being pushed to my Workspace Admins uh, Workspace Admins uh, Google account. So I'm just going to go ahead and relax my policy here. Uh, so it can be found under Devices Chrome. Settings, users and browser settings. And because I know the policy name, I'll just search by the name allowed domains for apps. So I know I'm in the brands test org. And I'm going to uh, inherit this. Actually, I will just change this back to here. So if I go here and refresh the policy, build policies here, so that should go away, go away within a few seconds. So as you can see, <clears throat> the policy disappeared. So now I'm going to go ahead and go to account or open a new tab, go to accounts.google.com, account chooser. So as you can see, I'm signed into uh, two Google accounts. So I'm just going to leave it signed in and try to go to uh, my secondary account. And as you can see, I'm signed in. I'll just try to go to Google Drive here as well. And I'm still signed into my second account. And I'm going to enforce a policy so that I'm prevented from uh, signing into a Google account on that domain. So I'm going to go back here and change the policy so that I can only sign into accounts on this domain, workspaceadmins.org. I'll just hit save. and reload policies. So as you can see, it now only allows me to sign into Workspace Admins and a uh, GCP service account. So if I go here, so as you can see, now I'm forced to refresh here and you can see that the service is no longer available uh, on this domain. So if I go back to accounts.google.com, account chooser, here I can still select it, but it'll, display the same error message. And if I go to accounts.google.com add session, I spell it correctly. So this will, if I try to sign into a gmail.com account, this will block this operation. So this is how you might uh, push a uh, Chrome policy to a managed user or managed browser profile so that users are forced to create a separate profile from their work, uh, from their personal, or from, per, from uh, their personal from their work profile, so that if the users are having any access issues to Google Drive files, you can easily troubleshoot it to make sure that they're using a work profile. Same with joining a Google Meet so that they are not uh, request or or they don't have to knock before joining the meeting. So as long as they're on the calendar invite and they're signed to the right Google account, it'll just simply let them in as long as it's a uh, internally organized meeting or they're on the invite. 
Yeah, so if you guys have any questions, uh, leave us a comment below or send us an email at uh, team at workspaceadmins.org. And if there's any topics or items that you would like to us to cover, again, uh, reach out to us by comments or through email, and we'll be uh, happy to produce another video. Thank you.